The addition of ammonia into our tap water may be all very well and good despite its tendency to aggravate the nervous system and particularly the brain. Being a gas, it can cross the blood-brain barrier and stress the entire nervous system by constant overstimulation of the wrong kind. Those of you who are old enough to remember the term smelling salts in our old-time movies may recall that these salts were used to wake up someone who had fallen unconscious. The mere aroma emanating from ammonia can be quite a shock. Just try and take a whiff of this stuff to smell what I am describing. Now, normal healthy human livers will process any ammonia in our blood into urea and our kidneys will then eliminate the urea. But I was born with a slightly impaired liver which fails to entirely do this job. Lazy bum. So I can easily suffer from a constant nervous disorder so long as I live and breathe the air in the shower stall when I'm taking a shower or the air in and around the garden surrounding homes regularly watered with our chloraminated tap water or absorbing ammonia through the skin while taking a shower or a bath or ingesting it from residues remaining after washing the dirt off of fresh vegetables. I surely don't drink or cook my food with tap water nor do I grow sprouts anymore. It just is not worth the troubling side effects. So the upshot of all this is that I need lots of iodine, at least as much as I can tolerate at the moment, around 16 milligrams a day, to rev up my metabolism and utilization of saturated fat, in addition to revving up the utilization of everything else which I ingest, and then ensure that I get enough saturated fat in my diet to help maintain a healthy nervous system to reduce chronic stress from enveloping my daily experience and ruining an entire lifetime from sheer ignorance.